Greetings, Internet, and welcome to another episode of A Comedy Musician Reacts. My name is Insane Ian. I'm a comedy musician and a comedy music fan, and on this show I react to comedy music from the perspective of a comedy musician. Sometimes that means I dissect the song, talk about the jokes, say how I would do it, uh, give a little incisive insights to music video production or elements that they've used and pointing out things that I enjoy or don't enjoy about the stuff and sometimes that just means I'm sitting here laughing my face off at it and enjoying it with you in the way that reaction channels do. It's a crapshoot what you're gonna get but pretty sure it's a fun time. Anyway, this week I'm reacting to the brand new song by Jazz Emu, Still Waiting. So, uh, this one came out a couple weeks ago. I uh, saw them live in concert, saw Jazz Emu live in concert. Opening for Value Select was a great show. Both of them did fantastic work. Uh, and uh, But yes, this is the new one since that tour. Uh, other than uh, Jazz Emu's uh, pilot, for the Jazzy Mew show, I think, but uh, that wasn't music all throughout in seven minutes, and I was like, that's nah, a little... Uh, I mean, my videos tend to go long, but like, it's seven minutes of not all song is what I meant. But regardless, if you like this kind of content and want to see more of it, please like, share, comment, subscribe, do all the things to feed the algorithm to get more eyeballs on these videos. And of course, if you really want to help out the channel, consider supporting me on Patreon at patreon.com slash insaneian, where you get these videos early, get to hear my music early. That's right, like I said, I'm a comedy musician, I do my own music. Uh, you get to see that early over on my Patreon as well. Get your name in the end credits, participate in polls to see what I'm going to react to next, all sorts of fun stuff like that. But, all of that out of the way, let's dive in to Still Waiting. Because you're still waiting for me to press play on the video, long intro is long. I'll put time codes, probably, if I remember. I'm not going to give the joke away yet, but I'm pretty sure I know this song because I think he performed it in concert. So, or at least a snippet of it. It's only, well, it's it's a three minute song, so it's a, it's a song length song, so I think maybe they did a, he did a snippet of it in the concert. I keep saying they because I keep thinking Jazz Emu is a band name and it's just, it's just him. So, uh, I don't know uh, his pronouns, but I, I think his pronouns are he, his doesn't say any different on Twitter, so if I'm wrong, feel free to correct me in the, in the comments. I uh, want to make sure I get that right, though, so. Again, pausing here, because I don't... I, I pause a lot if you're new here. I, I don't want to talk over the song and miss a joke, but... Uh, I'm fairly certain I do know already what the gag is. He's sitting there watching TV. There's a TV on the table there in, in the foreground now in this shot. Uh, but not knowing what he's singing about and not knowing, like, if you just hear the song by itself, haven't seen the video, you're maybe wondering what he's leading up to. And that's another genius thing that, that happens with these. Number one, the song is already a bop. And all the Jazzy Mew songs seem to be very funky and catchy and fun like that. Um, but this is something that I've talked about before in, in other songs where, like, it gives you that misleading intro, like the first verse, even up to the chorus, uh, doesn't seem like it's full of jokes, doesn't seem like it's funny yet, and it's the chorus that will make the preceding verse funny retroactively. Um, and it's a, it's a technique that Stephen Lynch uses a lot, and I, Stephen Lynch was the first artist I really noticed using it, so I call that technique Lynchian. Um, but, you know, it, it could be a little bit of a misnomer, because I, I could be, you know, wrong in my perception of who did it first, but that's who I first noticed doing it. Um, but I, I love, love that technique in comedy songwriting, because you're setting up a story, and sometimes that story setup may not have jokes in it. In a comedy song, I know that seems unheard of, where you want most comedy songs that most people know have traditional setups of jokes and 
Sometimes they have just jokes every third line or second line or something like that, every, you know, piled in with jokes. Um, and, and to give that kind of breathing room of, am I listening to a real pop song or is it going to be funny soon, uh, is exciting for me and it's something I enjoy uh, as a writer and as a person who enjoys listening to comedy music. <laughs> and there it is. <laughs> just the line just before the chorus. You know, it bounces it off of both walls, and you're like, wait a minute, what the hell are you talking about? And then the chorus hits. He's still waiting for the DVD logo to bounce and hit the corner of the TV. That is so genius and so stupid. Of course, there's a comedy song about that, because why else wouldn't there be? That's the genius of comedy music. You can make it about anything, anything that anybody can relate to or not relate to, or anything that you just find funny, that's the brilliance of comedy music. Co regular mu I've said this before, regular music, you can write a love song, sure, only comedy music can that love song be about a taco, you know? That's, that's the beauty of comedy music, and it's all, and comedy music is a genre, but it is all genres, because you have, you have funk and pop and rap and uh, country and rock, all musical genres, but still have it be comedy. You know, it's a genre in its own that encompasses other genres. It plays with other genres in its style. Love that. I hope you do too. That's why you're joining me. Presumably. That was the thumbnail for the video, was the eyeball shot. <laughs> no. No, never, no, don't touch your eyeballs. Don't, I, I, mm, I have a problem with my eyes as it, I'm overly sensitive eyeballs. And that's why I wear glasses and not contact lenses because nope, nope. So funky. <laughs> Something about him with the frilly shirt just aimlessly hammering in something into the wall. Don't know if he's hanging a picture or not, just there's, you know, just hammering a wall and then playing ping pong while not looking. Just clearly watch, keeping an eye on the DVD logo on the TV, but, you know, not spending his time aimlessly you know, exclusively watching the TV. Just, I do other things. Clearly, see? Ah, oh, genius. <laughs> Even better. <laughs> that is some skill right there. I don't know if that ball is CG. You can't even see the ball in this shot. Uh, I paused it and it's just not even in this particular frame. But to do that, to play ping pong while staring at your... He's holding a monitor. It's not even an iPad. He's holding a computer monitor. <laughs> God damn, that's funny. <laughs> all eight of your kids who are all dolls. Great. Certificate of divorce. He's si he's signing the certificate of divorce while still glued to the TV to make sure the logo hits. Holy crap! This is so good. <laughs> Whoa! There's some. That's that's a cool effect. Got to be some sort of split screen or something like that. But just the spinning with the TV instead of the, the person he loves. Well, it's the thing he loves. It's the DVD, the DVD logo. Man, that's so good. I gotta rewind that a little bit because that's so funny. It's the of my my Miami City Hall uh, is, is the, the place where the, 
the document will be from or notarized or whatever. It's a throwback to another one of his songs about Miami, which I have not reacted to here, uh, but I basically have seen the music video because he played it in concert behind him when he performed it. Uh, great song. If you haven't seen Miami, check that one out. Not sure if I should react to it because I technically have seen it, but not like the video by itself. Uh, whatever. Um, but uh, yeah, that's a nice little touch there to say that he lives in Miami. British. Very British. So creepy. <laughs> no amount of liquid can rehydrate them. Thank you for the lyrics on the screen, by the way. That's always a, a plus in a comedy song sometimes when the production is... The production is very good on it, but sometimes the lyrics are a little harder to, to understand. And in a comedy song, you want the lyrics to be understood. The, the lyrics are the joke. It's important. And again saying this, uh, for people who have not heard me say this before in these videos, uh, this music video perfectly helps uh, elevate the lyrics being funny. You want jokes in the video as well as in the lyrics of the song, but you don't want the jokes in the video to detract from the jokes in the lyrics. And this does a good meshing of both. <laughs> like rehydrating his eyeballs by spraying it directly into them, except that he's wearing glasses to block it. Genius. That was close. God, there's so many! Hold me like I held my wife. Oh, you poor broken man. Wow. It's a good callback to the previous line, and uh, it, it's, it, it's funny because it's a callback to his wife leaving him, but it's also kind of, you know, weirdly sad, as it's supposed to be. It's purposely, but it's... Man, so good. Oh, so close. See, now I'm invested. <laughs> There's a whole choreographed dance. <laughs> and this song is just a bop. It's so good. Uh, just the whole cosmic energy behind him when he finally when it finally hit. It's so good. Man. And the dancing. Wow. Bravo. That was fantastic. Uh, again, I, I love the false lead up where it's not really many jokes and then it's the one line before the chorus and then, then it's the joke and then making that previous verse very funny because of what he's singing about. Uh, excellent production as always. Excellent video. Very simple video, but Simple videos sometimes work best for comedy music, just as long as the video is there to elevate the lyrics of the song uh, and not kind of detract from the jokes in the song by having jokes in the video, too. Jokes in the video are great. I think comedy songs should definitely have funny music videos, but they should meld well with the lyrics and help elevate the lyrics rather than too many jokes distracting from the lyrics. Uh, it's a very delicate balance to hit, but if you're doing a comedy song, Generally, you want the video to be funny as well, not just on the, the basis of the lyrics. There are a couple of artists out there who do videos who don't put as much time or dedication into the video, and that's fine. That's, you do what works for you, but as a, as a viewer, personally, 
that's the kind of thing I like to see is where there's jokes in the video too. Something to entice you to want to watch the video over just listening to the song by itself. Anyway, hope you all enjoyed that. If you did, please like, share, comment, subscribe, do all the things to feed the algorithm to get more eyeballs on these videos. And if you really want to help out the channel, consider... consider? Yes, sure. Consider supporting me on Patreon at patreon.com slash insaneian, where you get these videos early, get to hear my music early, name in the credits, polls, all sorts of other good things there. Go check out Jazz Emu. Link to the original video is in the description so you can see it without me yammering all over it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks, everybody. Bye.